So, yeah, anyone who's gonna say something, like, negative, just remember, like, I am a real person. Like, I have feelings. It takes a lot of courage to be able to do this. And it's to help other people who do not have good mental health because this is, can be extremely lonely. It can be extremely scary. Like, at the end of the day, it's not the prettiest thing on the planet. Hi guys, coming from my bathroom. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do my first stoma bag change on camera. Bit nerve wracking. I just wanna make this clear, this is going to be a realistic bag change. No funny editing to make it look like you don't have shit with a stoma, because you do. I want this to be as realistic as possible because I wish I saw this before I had the stoma. If you can hear the dogs in the background, I apologise. Like I said, it's realistic. I live with three dogs. They make noise. So obviously I have a super pubic cavity called Flow. If you're new here, you might not know that. I have a super pubic cavity. So there we go. Um, like I said, this is going to be realistic. So expect to see shit. Expect to see stitches. I am only a week post-op. Um, expect to see things that I'm doing wrong. Again, I'm a week post-op. This is very new. Um, I'm still learning and you honestly learn constantly that's reality of this I'm going to start by tying my hair completely out the way I wouldn't normally do it but just for the sake of this video because my hair is very long <laughs> even though it's doing weird things right now it is very very long so we ain't gonna look cute but again reality Gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm just gonna put my supplies almost like around the sink. I am in my bathroom. So I've just got a box of supplies that I've randomly thrown in here. To be honest, we are trying a new bag because I am having a couple of issues with leaking underneath. Not so much blowouts, but like leaking just under the base plate. And you know, like I don't want my skin to go to sore. So yeah, we're gonna try that. I don't know how it's gonna go on because like it's the first time I've done this. Trust, trust me, to choose to pick a different type of bag when videoing. <laughs> uh, I was given these blue bags. Honestly, I just put it in the sink. I find it easier to do this over the sink than I do the toilet. But again, that's just me. I am one person. There are millions of people with stomas. You know, what I say is not gospel. And I'm very new to it all, so you know. Here we roll. I literally just put it in the black the sink, open like that, ready to just plop as much stuff in as possible. Now I am going to, as I was saying, honestly, these trousers that I spoke about in my What's in My Hospital Bag video have been a godsend. Ignore my hair. But yeah, they have been an absolute godsend. Like I said, I have a super pubic cafeter. If you are offended by shit, this channel is not for you. If you are offended by piss, this is literally not the place for you either. We talk pure reality here. And do you know what? Everyone shits. Everyone shit stinks. It's normal. So let's normalise the fact that everyone shits. But yeah, so I have got a see-through bag. I will try and not flash. But again, like... You are going to see my little chunky hips, etc. Because you know what? I am a real person. I am not a supermodel. I don't want to be a supermodel. I'm okay with being curvy. Um, so, yeah. And my belly is a bit bloated. I do have endometriosis. So, you know, it comes with the territory. So, the first thing I normally get is the spray. Um... I'm just going to put the things that I use on the side. The other thing that I always put out is this little pot. Just get some water into it. Tiny, tiny bit of water like that. You watch this all go fly. <laughs> it's guaranteed, isn't it? It's, I'm so clumsy, especially when I feel like someone's watching me, which you guys are now watching me. So prepare for clumsiness. But anyway, I take like two. And then I have two plain pieces of gauze that are not wet. Uh, I have a barrier wipe, which I open ready. The more things you get ready, the easier this is. That's how I found it. Um, and just go at your own pace, because I'm not being funny. This ain't no race. No one's timing you. 
even though it, it, it does get a bit nerve wracking and the stoma can be quite active. But anyway, are you ready? I'm ready. The other thing I was told was to get this warm. So we're going to literally put this under the boob. They need to um, make themselves useful. But here we go. Let's start. So you literally spray. Now this stuff is what I associate the smell of stoma to be. So I have, again, prepare yourself for poo because this is reality. This is how I defecate now. I'm totally going to get blocked on Instagram or YouTube, whatever one I decide to put this on. And then we just get some plain gauze and wipe away that yuck as if you were wiping your butthole. It's the same concept. Just this takes a little bit longer. Yeah, I'm getting some sore bits. But you know, it is what it is. So yeah, anyone who's gonna say something like negative, just remember like I am a real person. Like I have feelings. It takes a lot of courage to be able to do this. And it's to help other people who do not have good mental health because this is can be extremely lonely. It can be extremely scary. Like at the end of the day, it's not the prettiest thing on the planet, but we roll. So I've got my wet wipe. I'm just wiping to get any excess stuff. It does bleed a little bit, but apparently that's normal. I've still got all the stitches, etc. in, so I'm just trying to be as careful as possible. Not making it as sore. And for anyone wondering, it doesn't necessarily hurt, it just feels weird. Like, it just feels completely weird. I do recommend having a spare bit of gauze near, because the stoma can just activate it at any time. And honestly, it shat on the floor the other day, and I was like... Great, now I have to clean it off the floor. So I just cover like this if I'm <laughs> filming, because you know, just in case it poops on the floor. It's not that big of a deal, like, it is what it is. Now the barrier wipe, we just go round. I think it's trying to be active. So if I quickly catch it, this will literally be <laughs> reality, reality. But just all the way round, just to protect that skin, because you know, that's like the biggest thing. Like, we want to protect the skin as much as possible. I have got some sore little bits that you can see. Most of it is to, to do with the stitching and the fact the bags just haven't been right yet. Again, it's part of the process. My belly's still swollen as well. Oh, you're going to poop. Right, now we want that to dry. So I'm just putting this over it for a moment, just in case it does come active while I'm doing this. But I'm just heating up this because my boobs didn't do the job. I don't know who they think they are. They're sitting on my chest front free. I could at least heat up my stoma bag. You think they'd do that? Now I'm not sure how this is going to go if this is cut right because this oh this is my first time using this type of bag which has like a a dip like, that comes out. Um. Uh, so we'll say learning experience everything is a learning experience with a medical device but anyway we take this bit off like this put that there just in case I find if I push the bag out like this it's a bit easier and we want to go as close oh we're quite snug oh I'm not sure this is strange Hi guys, future Vicky here. So I just want to say I actually ended up having an allergic reaction to this bag that night. Um, it sent me into a complete sensory overload with autism, which was definitely not fun. Uh, it affected my breathing, amongst other things, and I actually caught it all on live. So if you're interested in seeing that side of thing, it is saved to my Instagram. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say that just highlights how much this is a learning curve and how much you have to be almost willing to try different products. Same with an SPC, and I say that all the time. But yeah, unfortunately, that bag did not work for me. In fact, I ended up being allergic to it, but it is what it is. But yeah, I just wanted to say that, because if you are going through the same thing, you're not alone. I don't know if that filmed, but we have it on. I don't know how I feel. 
about this because it's not, it's quite hard to stick this one down. It's not as easy as the other one. It's got this weird tap. See, we are learning people. Like, I will continue to learn. In fact, it would be interesting to see in a year's time, like, how quickly I can do this and how different everything is. So, we are stuck down. Obviously, we've got to, like, close the bag, otherwise, skid will shit everywhere. I have this, like, scent stuff. I'm not sure how I feel about this brand, so we'll try all the different ones and I will obviously let you guys know. This was a sample, so... Just squirt a little bit of that in. If I'm honest, like if anyone's actually like interested what the smell is actually like, this quickly the nearest thing I can compare it to is almost like baby poo. Like it isn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So we are stuck down for the most part. Mm. I'm not sure if this one's going to be any good. Because we're stuck, but we're like, I don't feel as secure because it feels completely different to the other one. I'm going to be honest. So, we are on. Again, I'm not sure how I feel. We'll try it. We'll try it for tonight. But yeah, that is pretty much it. And then we just pull the pants up. I do find if my pant band is over it. So this one sticks out a tiny bit more. But yeah, like... Oh, okay, it's weird when we're leaning forward. I am autistic, so, like, it takes me a while to get used to things. But, yeah, I'll let you guys know how it goes on. But that was a my first pad change. Again, people, be kind, because, like, there are real people behind these screens who, you know, like really are trying to better someone else's life and just be the person that they wanted or needed at the beginning of all this shit because it is really hard so yeah just be kind like don't make it any harder for us but yeah that was my video as always think awareness not attention